After photos and complaints surfaced about Springfield Public School lunches, 22 News is now taking you inside their culinary and nutrition center to see how their food is actually made. 22 News reporter Kay Wilkinson went to uh, went on the tour today. She is live in Springfield with what we've learned. Kate. The student engagement manager said that they are conducting an investigation. They're trying to figure out exactly when those photos were taken. In the meantime, they're conducting additional spot checks. This machine is holding about two bathtubs worth of Alfredo sauce. We're making that Alfredo sauce and scratch. Abby Getman Skillicorn is the student engagement manager with Homegrown Springfield. She showed us around the city's culinary nutrition center after these photos were sent into our newsroom, including this pizza. The photo was taken in September at the Springfield Renaissance School. Abby said the pizza comes prepackaged to their facility. That's not what we want our school food to look like. If a student knows that they don't like something that they're eating, we have a process for students to get a replacement meal if we're made aware of it. But before we were let inside the building, we had to dress the part. Masks, hairnets, curl it around and tuck it in. coats, and booties over our shoes. All precautions, we're told, are taken to make sure everything remains as clean as possible. Abby took us into where they package their meals. Barbecue nachos. And normally on the line, we're packaging about 33 meals a minute. During the pandemic, packaged meals were the bread and butter for the Springfield Public School System. But now, starting this week, they've actually been able to start serving meals once again in the cafeteria. We had the month of April to do a lot of training and get, you know, our teams ready so that we could welcome students back through the cafeteria line. The facility has also received new equipment. They're going to be able to make hot pockets, empanadas, as well as turnovers. They're hoping that they can be able to start serving those up to students sometime this fall. Review live in Springfield, Kate Wilkinson, 22 News.